Hello, everybody, and welcome to Home Based Business Review with Carl Douglas. And listen, I want to thank you guys for basically um, showing up and, and basically asking all these questions that needs to be addressed. And I had to go find a professional who knows what he's talking about because it's, it's, a, it's a sensitive time for everybody. When it comes down to finance, when it comes down to basically taking care of your family, you need the right answers so you can go in that direction. So what we have today is a special guest is a professional marketer. Daniel Kump is here. And you heard him uh, seeing him on our show before, and we brought him back from popular demand. Daniel, how you doing? I can't complain, man. I, I can't complain. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Carl, but this is my, is this my fifth time here? You know what? You get a, a jacket when you get to 10, but five, I give you maybe a ring. With. Yeah. Do I get the green jacket? Do I? <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I, and we thank you for basically coming back. And the, I guess to my audience here. We have over 250,000 subscribers on our channel, okay, our TV network, and we're going to talk directly to them about some of the things they ask, okay? I have a note here that I'm going to go over, uh, and I'm going to basically ask you the questions that have been addressed to me. Sure. That's what I announced to you since we got you here. So I'm on the um, hot seat. Yes, yes. Yes, you all are. Right. Very good. So, Sounds good. All righty. So this I like is- a, I like it warm anyway. I don't like cold, so- <laughs> You know what? It's cold outside, too, down here in, in, in uh, Washington. It's like- Whoa. Yeah, it's dude, like it's, it's 17 16. degrees out here in, in New England, so I, I get oh. cold. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Uh, so here, here's one question that I, know I, want, I want to go right, to, right into it because I'm sure they're patiently waiting. A lot of people are saying to me and asking the question, and I want to start my own business, but I have a lot of friends who are failing in their own home-based business. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about why you think they're failing. Not, um, all, not all of them are failing, but let's talk about why you think they're failing and also how we can help them in that direction. Well, let's let's talk about the question first before okay, we let's, get let's to that, that. Because anytime some and I'll give you I'll give you a perfect example um, of what I mean by what's in the what's in the phrasing of the question is like, hey, I want to start a home based business, but I have a lot of friends who are failing like instantly when you use the word, but you already step yourself back. You already bring yourself down a notch mentally and with your own willpower, you, you just say, but my friends are failing or my friends, this or whatever. You're instantly comparing yourselves to other people. And that is, you know, the, the first thing that you cannot do is compare yourself to others. If you want to start a home business, it's all on you. It has nothing to do with anybody else and, and the results that they are, have achieved or not achieved because you don't know their work ethic. You don't know their discipline. You don't know their mindset. You don't know their routine. You don't know how they, treat their business, whether they treat it like a hobby or if they actually treat it like a business. So the first thing you got to do is, is look at the individual and it all comes down to really one simple thing. You can either create a result or you can go create an excuse. And I, I like to keep it stupid simple. And it's literally that you like, you either want it or you don't. If you want it, you'll find ways to learn how to go do it. If you don't, You'll come up with an excuse. You'll literally be able to check the box because human beings are addicted to being right. And it's easy when you look at the top three excuses. I don't have the money. I don't have the time. I don't know how. It's easy to just check one of those and be like, yep, yeah, uh, I don't have a lot of time. Let me just check the box. That way I'm right. That way when I talk to you, Carl, I'll be like, yeah, I want to start a home-based business, but I just don't have the time, which we all know is a load of BS. Someone says, oh, I don't have the money. Well, you can literally start a home-based business for as little as $20. So you got to tell me you don't have, you can't find 20 bucks. Um, I guarantee if, if you invite me to a party at your house this weekend, say, hey, you know what? Do me, it's, uh, it's BYOB. Can you bring some beer and can you bring a pizza? You know, I would find 20 bucks to show up with beer and pizza. And then someone says, well, I don't have the time. You can start a, you can start advertising your business with a 15 second video a day on TikTok. Are you really going to tell yourself you don't have 15 seconds a day again? So it really just comes down to number one, comparing yourself to others. But if people are, you know, wanting to start, it just, you know, there, there's certain things that you got to do and really commit to up here before you do anything. All right. Yes. So I know that a little bit of a longer answer there, but mm, that's, that's you know. great. And, and I want to, I want to basically jump in on that as well. Uh, you got to understand the people you're around is going to affect what you think. 
If you're around people who are already making up an excuse why they shouldn't do something, that's their excuse, not your excuse. So you need to pick your five good, successful friends and let them mentor and get into their circle. Mm -hmm. I believe that it's all about, like you were saying, it's a mental decision that you make, a decision that you make to do something. Yep. Think about it for a second. When we wanted to drive a car or learn to drive a car or swim or ride a bike, we didn't think about it was a failure. We thought about, I want to do it. I'm going yeah. to do it. And you want to be around people who, and you're watching them. You want to be around people who are driving those cars. You want to be around those people who are actually swimming. You want to be in a mental state where you know you can't do it. Failure is not an option. All yep. you see is, I'm going to do it. I'm going to make it happen. So same thing with business. See, we've been trained for so many years to do what? To work. Okay, we go to school, we, we, we go have a family, and we get into the real world where we have to work to support our family, right? Mm -hmm. And then we have our employees. And it's nothing wrong about supporting your family and working. If that's what you want to do. But what I found out is when you do certain things in life, okay, you got to understand you're letting people tell you how much you're worth an hour. Mm-hmm. You need to tell them this is how much you're going to pay me for my time. Yeah, and you have to you have to change things around. Then also you think a lot of people think, and this is another reason why they fail. When you said twenty dollars to start a business or a hundred dollars, whatever, they think, oh man, that's a lot of money. Oh, can I do it free? That is letting them know how much they believe in themselves. Yeah, you you just told yourself how much you're worth to start a business. It should not be an option. You need to understand if it's, it doesn't cost anything. If you don't pay for anything, guess what? You don't have a value in it to where you want to basically get it back or make it happen. I don't care if it's 5000 20000 or even a franchise. What is that? $100,000, $500,000, a million dollars, whatever. You know? Three quarters of a million to start a McDonald's franchise. It's a, mind, it's a mindset. It's a mindset. And also, think about it like this. If you, this is what me and you and a lot of people we know that in that five circle of success in life, which is there, that one or five percent of, of, of successful people, what you need to understand is this. Go out there and, and spend as much money as you can because at the end of the year, you, you got to pay those taxes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I don't know about you, but this is how I feel. Uh, I want to write off. I want to buy whatever I need because, hey, I don't want to pay all that much taxes. I want to yep. basically put the money back into my education, okay, buy more equipment for my business, give away to charity, whatever. It's a mental frame. It's understanding what you need to do. And a lot of people don't, they're not around people to understand that. So I'm, I'm then, you know, that's another a, a chain of thought. If those are your excuses about, oh, I don't have the money and all this. Like I said, you already made up an excuse. Excuse is just a well thought out lie. You just told yourself. Yeah. That's because, oh, again, yeah. you know, circling back to mm -hmm. what I mentioned earlier about human beings are addicted to being right is you just want to, you know, if, if someone's coming, coming up with an excuse, you just want, you're trying to validate for yourself that you're right. You're trying to validate, you know, oh, time, money, you know, I don't know how. And mm -hmm. I didn't even chime in on this earlier, but like for someone to say, I don't know how to get started, you know, if you have this and you have access to the internet, which clearly if you're watching this video, you do, and you have access to YouTube and Google, how could you ever say, I don't know how, when you literally have information at your fingertips in seconds? And you're going to, and again, you're going to come up with the excuse because you want to validate that you're right. Well, I don't know how to, you know, you could literally go to YouTube and type in how to and fill in anything. Like you could probably go learn brain surgery on yeah. YouTube if you really wanted to. So it's just, again, it's just an excuse. It's just a validation that you're trying to, you know, you're trying to come up with that excuse so you can validate that you're right versus making that decision and committing to learning. Because at the end of the day, if you, Carl, can do it, if I, Daniel, can do it, then anybody can do it. I didn't know when I got started six years ago, I had zero subscribers on my social media channels. I had zero subscribers on my email list. I had zero, zero dollars for my business and my bank account. Like everyone, and remember this, for anyone that's watching, remember this line, everyone starts at zero. Yes. It's up to you if you want to stay there. Yes. 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 And you know what? Um, you just mentioned something. Wouldn't you say that it was easier for you to have a good, strong mentor, an honest, good, strong mentor that help you 
to basically overcome a lot of mistakes or basically correct those mistakes or show you what mistakes you shouldn't be making. Do you think it's important to have a mentor? Um, I'm going to talk out of both sides of my mouth here. So okay. I think having maybe not a mentor or a coach that is, you don't need someone that's literally going to get behind you and push you because mm -hmm. with some folks, it doesn't matter how hard you push or, or, or how much you nudge or say, Hey, you know, whatever the, it all comes down to attitude and it comes down to mindset. And it really just comes down to discipline, whether or not you're going to do it or not. It doesn't matter if someone's pushing you or not. Now, when I first got started back in 2016, my mentor, so to speak, was really just someone who had sponsored me into an affiliate business. And although I never really got any sort of personal coaching, I never really got mentoring. I could look up to them because they had so much content out there on YouTube and other social media channels. I could look up to them to kind of get ideas. I could go get inspired, but... I could use that person to inspire me to go figure it out and go put the work in myself and go do it. But that person 100% did not, you know, they weren't calling me going, Hey, you know, Daniel, did you do your job today? Did you send an email? Did you record a piece of content? Did you do all the things that you should be doing to build and grow your business? No, they weren't there to do that. And if, so I think like, do those people exist? Are they out there? Sure. But if you are reliant on somebody else to guide your success, you know, I, I can tell you where that road's going to lead. You know, if you're, if you're waiting for someone to come save you, it's just not going to happen. You have to have the discipline. You have to have the will, the attitude and the determination to go find your own success. Now to what you said earlier, Carl, like, can you, do you want to surround yourself with the right people? Like if you want to be a five figure monthly, monthly earner, Go surround yourself with five-figure monthly earners. You know, if you want to be a successful entrepreneur, go surround yourself with successful entrepreneurs. Let them inspire you. Can they be, can they act as a mentor? Sure. But, you know, is someone going to push you to success? No, that's all going to be, that's all going to come from you. I totally agree with that. As far as it got to come from you, you got to want it. Yeah. Because you can listen to a motivational tape and guess what? In a day or two, it may last a day or two, but guess mm -hmm. what? It still goes back to who you are and what you believe in. It goes it's clicking. If you break your leg, this is what I like to say. If you break your leg, uh, who's in the hospital? You are with the cast on, right? If that was the case, if you're in the hospital, it's you. It's not your friends that it's going to have the cast. If if you get sick or ill or, or a heart attack or whatever, who's in the hospital being treated for that? That pain. You are. So you have to figure out basically and make a decision on you're going to do this no matter what, no matter what, no matter if the mentor don't even call you because, you know, mentors can disappear. Mm -hmm. OK, and, and do something else. It's up to you. Companies come and go every day. I will say, yeah, it's, it's good, but don't fall in love with every company you run into because it can go away. Yep. But if you have the skill and the knowledge and the wants and I got to have it, it doesn't matter what happened. You would adjust your life, you yeah. would adjust yourself. And but guess what? even to what you just said, you know, because you said the skill and the knowledge, but to even step it back from there, it's it's the attitude, the mindset and the discipline that mm -hmm. will allow you to acquire the skill and the knowledge because, and that's, you know, when, when I go looking to bring people into my business to partner with me, they can have little skill sets. They can have, you know, they can be a rookie. They can be a newbie, as they say in, in kind of industry terms, but as long as they have the right attitude, if they have discipline and they have the right attitude, they they're coachable, they're willing to learn. And then, you know, like me six years ago, like you can, you can develop the skill sets. You can learn how to do TikTok. You can learn how to do YouTube. You can learn how to be, you know, an email copywriter. You can learn those things if you have the right attitude. If you don't, forget about learning the skill sets. That's right. And 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 all you, you guys saw, I, I, I talked about this a lot. And Daniel, I'm sure you heard about this. I had brain surgery. Okay. I was told I wasn't going to live possibly after this, this uh, the surgery. But guess what? When I opened my eyes and I looked around, I go, oh, whoopee, it's time to go. <laughs> my attitude was already there. 
I knew what I needed to do because I enjoy doing it. You know how we get up in the morning, we don't just get them go, oh man, I got to do this. And mm-hmm. I'm excited. I get excited because who out there really wants this bad enough? Let me go find them because it gives me energy at the same time. Yep. Because I already have the formula to make things happen. I already have the want and an attitude to make things happen. And so no matter what I do, that's where I'm going. That's what you should do. And that's what most people should do who's listening to us. And 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 you can speak openly about, I'm sure you've been with companies that failed you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> get, you more, than I, more than I'd like to admit to. <laughs> but guess what? You didn't fail you. That's why you're on the on the on the recording right now. That's why I pulled you into so you can talk to people because we both have that. We both have faith uh, companies who failed us. Yep. Okay. But but guess what? We can't look at what happened in the past, but we can do a lot. What's going to happen in the future? Absolutely. We have control of that. Okay. Yeah, and I, I think that's the thing that a lot of folks don't realize is you have more control over your life than you think where you might say it's in my employer's hand, it's in my uh, family's hand, it's in my, you know, my job's hands. Like mm-hmm. the thing about the, the real beauty about having a home-based business, whether it be, you call it a side hustle as an affiliate, a network marketer or whatever, like once you have a home-based business and you learn some basic, like basic skill sets of how to, you know, finding success from home is literally three things. You got to work on yourself, your attitude, your mindset every single day. All right, that's the most important thing. Number two is you got to get people to your site. And number three is you got to follow up with the people that go to your site. Like follow up, very that, important. Yeah, that but that's the business, right? That's right. And the whole point here is like, you know, it, all you got to do is that stuff right there. Like that's that's literally all you got to do. But once you learn some of those basic skills of how to share your site, how to follow up. The real beauty of that is once you learn those basic skills, you and only you control the levels of your income. Nobody else. It's literally in your hands. And then to circle back to what we mentioned at the very beginning, you either want it or you don't. You either create the result or you create the excuse. Super simple. Yes. Yes. And you know what? I, I want to stop for a second. because I'm sure they're writing this down and, and getting the answers they want. But- I hope they're writing it down. <laughs> But then you guys need to go back and rewind this because uh, Daniel is a professional, professional marketer, mentor, and coach. I got to tell you, it costs money to talk to him. It costs money to get his advice. And he's giving it to you right now. If you want to take it any step further, you know what to do because I'm sure you're aware of where to go get the information to find out what's going on with, with him or me. Okay. But we work as a team. When I do something, I look for people who are there, not somebody who's trying to get there. I look for people who are there. So guess what? So I can go ahead and pass them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they give me something to stretch at. And, you know, this was something that, are, that, that I noticed. And I'm, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but I got I to I stop for a second. You know what? The, when you have two people who are striving for greatness, uh, uh, higher achievements like the Olympics, and they want that goal, guess what? They need one other person who who a little bit better than them or just as better than them where they can test themselves or bring themselves up higher. Mm-hmm. That's what you need to do. That's what you need to do. And and I charge $1,000 an hour for my time. I'm sure you charge just about as much or, or even more. Yeah, I don't do one-on-ones for free. <laughs> you know time, why? Time is too valuable, man. Yeah, you know why? Because me and you, we make mistakes. It costs money for us to get to where we're at. Yep. And for us to give that advice or work with somebody to help them achieve their goals, it's going to cost them money. Yep. They're going to value what we give them. But honestly, you guys know uh, my track record. Now you know uh, Daniel's track record. And I got to tell you, we are a team. Me and him, we are a team. When I do something, I, I look for people like that to do it with. So without talking about where to go to do something, you know where to go to look for our information. And we'll be happy to work with you, bring you in as a team. But guess what? Don't come to us because you're thinking about it. Don't come to us making excuses. But guess what? We're going to say goodbye. We don't have time for that. We don't have time to bring you up and make you do something that you're trying to do. We want to we want 
somebody's bringing on our team that's already want that just as bad as we are doing it. Mm -hmm. That's that's what's important. Um, but I'm gonna ask you, uh, can you within the next couple of minutes kind of talk directly to those people who are listening to this and saying to themselves, "Oh God, that's some good advice. What is there anything else I need to hear from you?" Go ahead and, and express your your thoughts there. Yeah, I mean it. It just comes down to this. You just got to make a decision that, again, I, I always circle back to the simple stuff, you know, the simple phrases, because I, I like to keep my business simple. I like to keep my life simple. And it just comes back to, you know, you either want it or you don't. And if you do decide that you want it, you really need to decide that you're going to commit to it because then it comes down to action. Like you just got to get out there and go take action. And, and it's easy to think that, well, I don't know. Where do I go? How do I start? What do I do? I know with our specific team and what we do, like we have a training guide that is literally step by step. And yes, sounds cliche, but it is literally as simple as copy and paste three stupid, simple, easy to follow getting started steps. But if you, so in other words, yes, if you can copy and paste, you can start an online home-based business, but then it just comes down to Again, attitude and discipline and taking that action consistently because consistency is key. And that's what's enabled me to build a full-time income. So you need to commit to taking that consistent action. You need to commit to learning. You need to commit to investing and working on you every single day. And as you start to take those daily actions, doing those daily disciplines, then action, your action will cure your fear. Action cures fear. So if you're worried or scared or like, I don't know what to do. Of course, that's normal. It's, 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 it's like if you start a brand new job, you're nervous. Of course, you're nervous on your first day. You, have, you don't know the people. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know how to perform your job, but you learn. And then the longer you're there, the easier your job gets, right? Well, it's the same exact thing with the home-based business that the more that you take action and you are willing to go learn, the easier it's going to become and the more natural it will be. So you got to just take that next step after deciding that you want to do this. So instead of creating that excuse, go create a result, take the action and you will learn as you go and you will be less fearful because action cures fear. Beautiful. Thank you. Well said. And I'm sure that it brought up a lot of energy on, on the line here. Um, Daniel, we got to bring you back again, but you come hey, back. You know what? We'll go for number six, man. It's all good. <laughs> You're going for the jacket now, right? <laughs> yeah, no, I got to get the green jacket, man. Let's go for 10. <laughs> that's, that's right. That's right. So, um, you guys, you know what to do if you're looking for us. I don't need to tell you. Um, so, um, we're here to help any of those who really want it. I want to conclude it and thank you guys for listening to us. This is Carl from Home Base Business Review. Oh, if you're YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe uh, on this channel and, and give us your comments there as well. Those who are watching this on uh, live TV, just in the circulation, uh, uh, go ahead and send me some emails. You already know what to do. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.